Okay, so let's get straight into this video here. Amazon has added a very exciting new feature that independent publishers can start utilizing, and that is the A plus content. So if you're not sure what A plus content is, don't worry, I'm going to show you what it is and how you can access it on your account. Now, I do realize I'm probably a little bit late to the party here when it comes to making a video about A plus content, but I think it's one of those things that is genuinely such a great update that the more people that know about this, the better it's going to be for everyone, because I do believe that it is something that it will most definitely help you increase sales. And I think Amazon have released this at the absolute perfect time because there's still a lot of time for us to prepare for Q4 and utilizing this new feature when uploading books for Q4 is going to make us a lot more money. I can just feel that this Q4 is going to be the biggest for a long, long time. And now with this new feature, it's going to be even better for all independent publishers that utilize it correctly. So what exactly is this new feature, the A plus content? So typically when we upload a book onto Amazon, we don't really get much chance to show off what our book is all about. We don't really have much marketing that we can put onto our book page. So we kind of get the, the front cover, the back cover, and sometimes the look inside feature, which has been a bit glitchy for people recently not being able to use that. So this new feature could be the reason for that. I'm not sure. But basically all we get in order to sell our books is just, you know, we have a little bit of description. We have the front cover. We have maybe have the look inside feature. And then that's pretty much it. There's nothing else and maybe some reviews. So not much that the buyer can go on when it comes to making the decision to purchase the book or not. So with the A plus content that Amazon is now going to give us access to, we can kind of create these awesome looking kind of graphic sales pages that I'm not sure if they replace the description or not. So you have to bear with me on that. But we can certainly show off more of our book and create more of a sales page for our books that we upload onto Amazon. So if we take a look here in this person's product description, now this is obviously not an independently published book, but this is the type of thing that we are now going to have access to on our independently published books. Okay, so we can put in all these graphics and actually show off the interiors for our books. Okay, so this is absolutely huge. And I actually spoke about this in my last video, the the KDP saturation video. And what I spoke about there was that how being unique and well, this is just my opinion that being unique is going to be the way forward for 2021, 2022 and beyond. And now with this new feature that's being added, we can add another level of uniqueness to our book listing. So we have so much variety that we can put onto our listing description now that we have access to this new feature. Okay, so this is absolutely amazing. And it now gives us a ton of more options when it comes to promoting our book within Amazon and how we decide to show off our book to our, our target audience, okay? So for me, I'm not gonna be adding it to my existing books, but I will be adding it to books where it makes sense to add this type of thing to in the future. So at the moment, for example, I am working on coloring books and I think this is the absolute perfect time if we're doing books like this where you need to showcase your quality this is absolutely perfect to utilize this new feature where we can actually show off the, the images that are inside our book, for example. So I'm not sure if this feature is something that I would be using for my low content books that I produce in future. I'm more so gonna be looking at things like my coloring books and activity books so I can really show off why my book is gonna be better than the last person's book that they looked at, okay? So this is another reason why quality is gonna be the way forward and obviously it always should be the way forward. But once you actually get to show off the quality of your interior, of your book to your customer, then you're gonna significantly increase your chance of making the sale to that customer, okay? So this is why quality is now gonna be more important than it ever was, okay? Okay, so to access this feature, here we are on our Amazon KDP bookshelf. What you wanna do is go to the book that you have that is already live that you want to add this feature for. And then you just click on the three little dots here. You probably know how to do this already without me telling you. And then you come across to promote and advertise on the book that you want to add this for. And then when you scroll down here, you're going to see, well, hopefully you're going to see this new section here, which is the A plus content. So let's just read what Amazon has to say about it itself. With A plus content, you can add images, text, and comparison tables to your product detail page to engage readers and give more information as they consider buying your book, which is absolutely amazing okay so we can do it for each marketplace and i'm going to go for example here just com if i wanted the, the graphics to show up on my dot com listing i'd go for dot com if i wanted it for the uk then i'd go uk etc etc so this book here that i'm on is currently selling well in the uk so let's just try an example on the uk 
then we're going to select that and come to manage a plus content okay and that's going to bring us to this page here the a plus content manager okay so since this is quite a new feature not many people are going to know the ins and outs of this exactly including myself so you know this is something you can go and have a play with but if you want to come and get started you're going to need to go to the start creating a plus content button on the right here click that and then you can start adding your different modules okay so i do believe that you can stack these on top of each other so let's click add a module okay so this is going to give us a ton of options as to what we can show off to our customer we have a standard company logo a standard comparison chart standard for image and text now that's something that i'm quite interested in using for this book i think and if you just scroll through these you can see all the different types of graphic style that we can add into our listing okay okay so yeah we do have the standard product description text here as well so let's just try this out here I've scrolled all the way to the bottom here and we have a standard three images and text module that we can add in here actually let's start with the company logo here and just try and make something so you can see how this works okay so once i add this one here the standard company logo you can see that the image size that we need to put in here so this is going to be on top here so we have the first one and then we add anything that's going to be underneath that so that's in theory i assume that's how it works but the image size here we need to do 600 pixels by 180 so what's great is i think we're going to be able to do this in canva so let's come across to canva and make an example i'm going to try and do this really quickly or it's going to get quite boring but let's just take a look at it okay so in canva i've created a 600 by 180 i think it was yeah so 600 by 180 uh, in pixel size here so this is going to be our kind of company logo or our brand name or whatever we're calling ourselves so i assume we can put whatever we want in these things here so let's try adding something for example okay i'm just going to use that cute books for example and i'm going to download this as a png and then i'm going to add it in to our module here so let's add that okay so when we add this in we need to include image keywords so what is this this is describe image for customers using screen reader applications okay so this is required it looks like so i'm just going to put this for example cute books logo name add that okay and that's going to add our first module there okay so this is going to show up hopefully on our listing page when we submit it so let's add another module here and try and do i think what the main appeal especially for me is that you're going to be able to show off your interior now that is something i believe you are you're going to be allowed to do i hope so it would make sense and i want to be able to show off why my interior why my book is going to be better than the last book that you looked at so if you're not too sure about the last book that you looked at and my book you come over to my book you see the interior it looks nicer than the other one it's presented nicer it's got all these cool graphics and it looks really professional then they're more likely to buy from you than the other person in theory so let's add another module here and let's just go with the standard three images and text okay so it adds in here the second module and each of these is 300 by 300 okay so i'm going to assume that these would be my interiors so examples from my interior okay so there might be other modules that you can use to showcase this but i'm just going to use the standard three images and text just as an example here okay so again go through all this yourself familiarize yourself with it so let's go into canva and make a 300 by 300 and add these in okay so let's just assume that this is an image from my book obviously it would be hopefully not nicer than this if it's a coloring page for example let's just make three of these very quickly okay so just very quickly made three images again we're just assuming that this is from the interior of our book let's download all them as pngs again and let's start adding them into this module here on our account okay so there we go we've added in these three pictures from our interior now this is looking quite good already okay so we can put ourselves a title in here for this section so get excited with these unique coloring pages this is not going to be any good obviously because i'm doing it you know just on the fly right now and then we can create uh, headlines for each of these images and write something about them and it looks like we have all the the ability to put bold italic and underline and do those sort of things within these modules as well that's so that's even better it's going to make our listings look super clean it's going to make our listings look really professional and hopefully increase our chances of making the sale okay so that might not be the best module for showing off your interiors maybe we could try something like the standard image header with text here and again you would just do the same thing here you can go into canva create a 970 by 600 and if you were doing this one for example and you want to show off multiple images inside your book you would need to put those images onto one as opposed to the three that we did in the other module and then we could download that and put that in and again you can do the header on these you can write a little bit about the 
the module that you're working on here. So you could check out these awesome images from inside the book. You can make that bold. It looks like you can do some bullet points and whatnot as well. So again, lots to play around with here. This isn't a tutorial, obviously. I don't know the ins and outs of this or how exactly I'm going to be doing this, but it's more so just to show you that this is something that you can that you really have quite a lot of flexibility with and you can really show your book off to the, the way that you want to show it off to your target audience okay so this is absolutely amazing the more that i play with this the more that i love it i'm definitely going to be using it for my upcoming books toward q4 so my suggestion here would be that you just come over to your amazon account right now go into your marketing section and just see if you have access to this new feature and if you have it in there go and have a play with it see what things you can add to your books see how this is going to affect your publishing business going forward see what type of ideas it's going to give you again like i said this isn't a tutorial for me here hopefully in the future i'll be able to upload some more specific videos so on the next page here you're going to apply your ASIN number so you can get that from your book listing copy that over into the next section there and then it looks like you're going to be able to review your book apply the content to your description and then amazon's going to review that and hopefully it's going to go live i think some people have said already that it's going to go live automatically i'm not too sure about that but again something you need to experiment with just know this feature exists in your account that's the point of this video it exists and i urge you to take a good look at it because i think it is going to really help people make sales especially this q4 okay really make your book stand out if you've got books coming up that you've spent money on you spent time on and they look absolutely crazy show it off to your customer they want to see this okay okay so that's some very exciting stuff for our publishing business and one thing that has just come to mind is how is for those of us running ads how is this new feature gonna affect our a course and our ad spend and things like this in our advertising account is it going to help us i think it will and especially when it comes toward Christmas now, when if you are running ads, you can run ads like crazy and the conversion rates are going to be much higher. And with this new feature on top of all of that, is it going to be even better? I think it might be. And that's why this is so exciting for us independent publishers. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you very soon.